The following video is an excerpt from the Pastiche Distance Learning Online program, on the subject of pigmentation. Pigmentation is a very common skin condition, and one that is a challenge to treat. Unevenness of skin color would be the most frequent complaint next to wrinkles, from patients and clients who attend appearance medicine and skin treatment therapy clinics. Training in the knowledge of this skin condition is very limited and lacking depth, often marketed with promises that don't deliver. One must undertake this course to fully understand the limitations of treating this skin condition. Pastiche Distance Learning have developed a 5-unit specialty module in which you will learn about the following, the skin's risk for pigmentation. Cellular damage and the melanocyte cell. The melanocyte life cycle. The leading causes of pigmentation and the effect they have on the cells and systems of melanogenesis. Visual analysis of pigmented skin conditions. Please enjoy this excerpt from the fourth unit of learning called Leading Causes of Pigmentation. Question. What would stop the keratinocyte from picking up melanosomes? Answer: This may happen because the keratinocyte cell membrane is not viable or flexible enough to practice the endocytosis method of picking up the melanosomes that have been released into the extracellular space. Essential fatty acid deficiency is a leading cause of poor cell membrane health and will influence cell membrane viability. This would reflect in an unhealthy epidermis that may be indicating other keratolytic disorders, of essential fatty acid deficiency, dry skin, flaky ridged fingernails, and scaly body skin and scalp. What also needs to be remembered is that if the keratinocyte cell membrane is unviable, so will be the melanocyte cell membrane, a combination of both will lead to poor dispersion of pigment across the spinosome layer. Question. Where will the melanosome fall if not picked up by a keratinocyte? Answer. Our base knowledge of skin tells us that the keratinocyte mother cell and melanocytes are attached to the basal lamina of the dermal epidermal junction by keratin filaments called hemidesmosomes. This junction is made up of three layers of collagen connective tissue and is permeable, and in some literature is referred to as the derma junction. The derma junction is made of sinusoidal connective tissue, so named, because it is filled with holes, pockets and channels that allow the movement of fluids and immune cells to move through from the dermis to epidermis. The epidermal side of this junction is called the basal lamina, and it is onto this that the melanosome would rest, after not being picked up by the ascending keratinocyte. If this is an ongoing problem then a large amount of pigment could accumulate into this junction. The next two slides are histology slides of pigmented skin, I know it takes practice to read histology slides. I hope my labeling is helpful. Question. What happens to the dermal epidermal junction as it deteriorates with age? Answer. Pigment can accumulate in the dermal epidermal junction for many years before it becomes noticeable as pigmentation. The aged skin will lose the strength and integrity of the junction and this will result in looseness and separation of the epidermis from the dermis. All of the accumulated pigment that was in the junction will be released into the dermis as a result of the dermal epidermal junction collapse. This is called dermal pigmentation. Did you enjoy this short learning experience? If so, please consider visiting Pastiche Distance Learning and enrolling for this 5-unit online distance learning module. 
For the small investment of just $50 you will become a better informed skin treatment therapist. You can enroll these pastiche sites. There are also educational resources for the skin treatment therapist available from these two websites. Goodbye.